Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Read Write Ink Phonic Home Books that you have. I have got here with me a purple group and a yellow group book and I'm just going to be showing you how to use them at home. The principle for both these books is the same of how you need to read them with your child. The first thing that we do with the children in school is go through the speed sounds. The children usually do this with a partner and they usually have a teaching stick but you can use anything you've got at home. I'm just going to use this pen. So they go through all the individual sounds, not too quickly so that you can hear the sounds. Ng, ng, b, k, d, g, h, j, p, k, t, w, x, y, ch. When it gets to the vowel sounds, we say the sound that's in bold and not read the words. So, a, e, i, o, a, a, e, I, O, U, U, R, O, E, O, 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 and OI. The children then need to have a go at reading the green words in Fred Talk. B, A, N, K, Bank, P, O, N, D, Pond, etc. for the rest of the words. Then they're reading the syllables yell o yellow will o willow duck ling duckling then they read the root word first and then with the ending these words will be slightly different for each book because it's specific for the words that they'll read in the story at the bottom, there's the red words. Each of the stories will have red words. They might not all have the syllables and the root word, but the principle of the green words and the red words are the same. The red words are the words that they can't sound out and they just need to be able to read them. If they're struggling, although they will have already read the book, you can use my turn, your turn to help them. My turn, said, your turn. My turn, he, your turn, for the rest of the words on the page. The idea is that once they've read the green words and the syllable words and the root words and the red words, they'll be able to read the story independently on their own. On this page there's a vocabulary check and you can talk about the words and what they mean before you read the story. As parents, you could read the introduction of the story before the children read. They then have a go at reading the book to you. The words that are in a slightly different colour, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but the grey words are the red words or the yellow words, depending on if they've already had a look at them on the first page or not. So read through the story. On page 14, there are questions to talk about. So you could ask the children um, whether it's a find it question, so they need to turn to the page and find the answer, or a prove it question, so getting the children to explain why they think that's the answer. So you can read them the questions, or... If your child feels comfortable enough to do that, then they could read the questions themselves. On the back, there's speed words. So the idea is, is that the children can read these words really quickly and accurately. First of all, they do it in order, and then the second time round, you can do it in and out of order. Again, using your teaching stick or your pencil or anything you can find at home. Row, duck, said, no. Three, swim, duckling, he, show, throw, pond, you, toe, stay, then, yellow, follow, her, willow, cheeped, duckling, show, three, row, swim, stay, yellow, her, then, 
so you can get the children to practice in order first of all and then mix the words up a little bit. Like I've said, the principle for the books is the same regardless of which colour they are. So hopefully that will be helpful. Thank you.